A growing Greater Sydney needs a plan for its people, great places, housing, jobs, transport and services. The Greater Sydney Region Plan establishes three cities built upon our diverse landscape, each unique but connected. Three cities that will boost our economic, livability and environmental qualities and support Greater Sydney's status as a global city. This plan coordinates population growth with improved or new infrastructure, such as rail, roads, schools and health services. The new Western Parkland City will be key to Greater Sydney's future growth, home to well over 1.5 million people by 2056, adjacent to the Blue Mountains, Nepean River, the Western Sydney Parklands and a revitalised South Creek. The Western Sydney Airport and surrounding Aerotropolis supporting tens of thousands of jobs. Greater Penrith, Liverpool and Campbelltown MacArthur will be the university towns supporting health and education precincts. The Central River City with Greater Parramatta at its heart. Skilled workers and top 100 businesses will be attracted by better transport links, public places, green space, housing, schools and high quality neighbourhoods along with an unprecedented level of infrastructure delivery over the next 10 to 15 years. The Eastern Harbour City, Sydney's traditional gateway, will build upon its strong financial, professional, health and education sectors. A quarter of recent growth in Australia's GDP comes from the economic corridor, from Macquarie Park through Sydney Airport and Port Botany. This plan extends the Eastern City's international capabilities through an innovation corridor from the Bayes Precinct and the tech and startup hubs in Piemont, Ultimo and Redfern to the Camperdown Ultimo Health and Education Precinct. This is a 20-year plan with a 40-year vision, connecting people to great places that recognise local character, housing, transport, including walking and cycling, strategic centres, industrial and urban services, and health and education precincts. It protects and enhances Greater Sydney's environmental green grid. It will provide 725,000 new homes, improving housing affordability with greater choice for buyers and renters, first-timers or downsizers. It supports a minimum of 817,000 new jobs over the next 20 years. And as we travel more in our city, up to 22 million trips per day by 2036, the 30-minute city will bring jobs and services closer to where we live. This plan will protect and enhance Greater Sydney's unique environment, its waterways, biodiversity, bush and rural lands and green spaces. We'll see greener streets and more trees in our suburbs, reducing the risk from natural and urban hazards and improving our resilience to climate change. There are 10 directions at the heart of this plan, a foundation for good city planning across government. Supporting growth with infrastructure, new growth infrastructure compacts will link new housing with delivery of transport services, schools and health facilities and jobs for stronger communities. The Greater Sydney Region Plan brings together land use, transport and infrastructure planning. It sets the planning framework for the five districts which make up the region. The five district plans are the link between the Region Plan and Local Council plans. They will assist local councils to plan and deliver for growth and change and aligns their local planning strategies to place-based outcomes. Achieving our vision of three more livable and equitable 30-minute cities will involve many stakeholders and ongoing collaboration and engagement with industry, government and the wider community. Visit www.greater.sydney for a copy of the plan.